It's the policy change firefighters say puts lives in danger. This morning, they went to the city to voice their concerns. Now they're saying it's time to go to court. At a meeting with the city this morning, leadership of the firefighters union demanded the so-called no lights, no sirens policy be dropped. Now that policy classifies emergencies into two categories, and it is an issue, firefighters say, puts lives in danger. Yesterday, the head of the union spoke out, and he didn't hold back. There's only one fix to this. Go back to the way we've been responding for 160 years and recommit yourself to public safety in the city of Detroit. Coco McAvoy live tonight in Coco. I understand the union is heading to court over this. Yes, good afternoon. The union is filing an injunction because needless to say, the meeting this morning didn't go so well. They weren't able to come to an agreement and the union president is staying pretty vocal about this issue. And now Chief James Craig is weighing in on behalf of the city. The fight over the Detroit firefighters new response policy is heading to court definitely going for injunctive relief. We want this stopped immediately. Detroit Firefighters Union President Mike Nevin believes the policy is dangerous. We've got plenty of evidence that this new system is a failure. Part of his evidence? Engine 40, response to code 2, still alarm at 2310 Monterey is on scene for shooting. Recordings of runs, Nevin believes needed a lights and sirens response. This is a public safety nightmare right now. Detroit Police Chief James Craig disagrees. Uh, Commissioner Jones' decision is prudent. It's thoughtful. Let's face it, the second leading cause of firefighters' deaths, traffic collisions. City officials say there were 17 crashes last year involving fire engines. Nevin isn't buying it. I'd like to see the data on those accidents. A bent mirror, a, a bent bumper. I mean, this is ridiculous. Craig sees it differently. 17 accidents involving rigs that weigh anywhere between 45 to 60,000 pounds. You can't win in that. That's not a fight that you want to take on. Now it may ultimately be up to the courts to decide who is right about this new response policy. And we do not yet know when this issue will be taken up in court, but of course, we'll be tracking, keeping track of this case. Back to you. Coco, did Chief Craig have a response to the injunction that the union is filing? Yes, I did ask him about it. He says he has a lot of respect for the union president, but also said, in his opinion, it's a tough argument to make and said, quote, good luck with that. But Nevin believes that he's got a strong argument and can win this. So we'll have to, of course, keep track of it. Controversial topic for sure. All right, thank you, Coco.